All right, well, we're finally out here to test the Cheetah Cat since I've done the upgrades on it. Went ahead and put these big giant capacitor banks on here. These are atomic cat packs. These are 8S capable, but I think there's something like 12,500 uh, total on each bank. So that's a big considerable upgrade compared to the 2250 uh, cat packs that were on this thing originally. Another thing that we did was instead of using the outward rotating, I went ahead and switched them to inward rotating. So now the props are on the opposite side. So we're going to see if we get any increase in speed. I'm only going to run it on 4S today, but I brought three sets of 4S packs. We're going to run the SMC 5200 4S. We're going to run the Genzace 6800 4S, and we're going to run the SMC 120 5500s. I have two of these. One of them is starting to swell. It's actually my oldest battery pack. I put it in a separate bag. Um, I just, I'm going to run it. I'm probably going to decommission it after today. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but it'll be the last pack that we run. First, we're going to try um, the Gen's Ace. We'll start big and work our way down. So 6800s, 5200s, and then the 5500s, 120Cs. And that's the way we're going to run it. We're actually here to test these new struts. I've got each of these struts set to 0 0.2 degrees positive. I wanted to be as neutral as possible, and I've got my bigger 1816 props on it. I've had these props with one of those batteries at 68 miles an hour. I want to see if I can get somewhere close to that realm. I'm not going to do any adjustments on the struts. I want to see how the capacitors do, and I want to see how the opposite inward rotating of the props do. Let's go ahead and get it together and get it on the water. All right, got it all set up with the Gen's Ace packs. Good deal, good deal. I'm going to go ahead and zero out our telemetry here. Reset, yes. Good deal. Go back. All right, zero. Now we'll be able to see what our speed is. I'm going to go ahead and tape it all up. All right, let's do a lap. Make sure it's running straight. There we go. Model speed, 31 miles per hour. Seems like she's trying to lift. Ooh, I just went through a patch of grass. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I don't have grass on it. That's dope. Alright, yeah, I still got cooling coming out the back. She doesn't seem like she's slagging on anymore either. heard something. I don't know what it was. Receiver battery 5.9 volt. Yep, I see the grass right on the ass end of it. There she blows. So what I noticed I had grass wrapped around one of the props, like right where the uh that little thrust washer is supposed to go. There was some grass wrapped around it. That's why she was doing what she was doing. Alright. May have to uh They have to put the damn trim at level. Ooh, no. 
And she's upside down. I should have just let off when she lifted. RF signal loss. Hey, well, on a lighter note, before we flipped it, we did 67 miles an hour. So the best on 4S so far is 68. So we're not far off of that. We, we're doing some repeat numbers on 4S, which I'm actually surprised. And um, I don't know. It performs differently with inward rotating props. The uh, steering is extremely touchy. That's all I can say. Well, this flip will be the ultimate test to see how the struts did to see if they bent at all. Well, it looks like the struts actually did pretty well. They are still smack dab in line with where they should be. I noticed the rubber, rudder's a little off kilter, but let's flip it over and see. Okay, all the tape's still on. We're good. No heat. All right, we're good. Let's see. Yeah, something. Something uh, about the rudder is messed up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drive it in. We'll open it up and see. All right. Went out there and got it. Brought it back in. Everything looks kind of okay here. I ran it around just a little bit. Capacitor 106, 105, ESC, 116, 113. Wow, that's crazy. 103, 100. Huh. And we got 67 miles an hour out of it. And see, I keep getting this crap here. It's rabbit. It was like a whole lot more when I first brought it in. But... I feel like we, I feel like we stripped this plastic uh, servo arm here. I need to go ahead and update that to a metal one. I'm going to go ahead and pop it off, pop the batteries out, and replace this back where it belongs and just look at the inside to see if maybe it's broken. I don't know, but it definitely slipped and adjusted the angle of my rudder. Alright, I noticed the last packs were kind of picking up, so I went ahead and just put some tape on the front to prevent them from sliding back. I don't have my anti-skid with me today. I, I don't know why I don't have any pieces in here. Um, I, I guess I just left it at my house. But um, there's nothing I can do to prevent these batteries from sliding back. I need to just go ahead and either take this tray off of here and start using Velcro or formulate another game plan because the batteries need to go down and they need to go forward but the issue is they're raised up they actually start hitting this yes I can put them in the gully but it's gonna a lot of stuff has to change so I just didn't want to change it just yet but I think I'm kind of getting closer and closer to lean and I have to do that but all right first time I've ever run these 4s packs in this boat I'm gonna go ahead and see what they do all right let's get it I'm gonna try my damnedest to not flip this thing. And not hit the big giant patches of grass. It ain't as bad as it was here the other day. That was full tilt right there. That was full tilt. Let's see. God, 67 again. Are you kidding me? I zeroed out the GPS. I wanted to see. I think she picked up grass. Model speed, 19 miles per hour. Damn it. As long as it drives straight, I know it doesn't have no grass on it. Oh, 
It's so easy to get onto it too hard and lift the nose up. Whoa. Yeah, I think I got grass on one of the props. Yep. Yeah, I still got to compensate for steering. That's why it jerked like that. Receiver, battery, five All right. point All right. volt. Well, that's an understatement. <laughs> I knew I had grass on it. Jesus. This is terrible, terrible, terrible. Just the conditions suck still. Conditions are still... Kind of crabby patty. Okay. All right. Now, uh, those are the 5200s. I don't want to run them too much. 67 miles an hour. Again. Again. <laughs> Just so people know, every time I get done, I go and do this. And I reset it back to zero. Just get in, get in tune with doing that. Wow. 60, 67 on both packs. That's kind of nuts. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and check the temps. Looks like the battery's pretty much stayed put, which was a good thing. Check these caps again. 116. Receiver, battery, 5.9. 105. Let's check the front one. 120. 117. Wow, it's funny. You go back and they're colder. Huh. I guess it's getting heat from the ESC. That would make sense. Let's see. ESC is 134. This ESC is 131. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. <clears throat> so it's got to be... Remember how this one on this side always used to be hotter? The reverse rotating side? And now that this one's the reverse rotating side, this one's hotter. It's got to be... The prop. The prop on this side must be slightly more aggressive than the prop on this side as to why this side is now hot. Nothing else has changed. The only thing I changed was the cable. Either that or the difference is in the cable because this is a coarser thread than this. This is a finer thread cable and this one over here is a coarse thread cable. You see see the, the how thick that cable is? Come over here and look at this cable. See how fine that cable is? Yeah, that may be the difference. This one here is actually the cable made for this by Offshore Electrics. This one over here is just a regular cable. I cut down for it. But, let's see. Batteries are fine. They're a little warm, but not bad. Not bad. All right. Running out of daylight, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. And um, they're only 5200, so they're not like we're going to get an absorbent amount of runtime out of them. I don't want to overdrain them. But it's been a long time since I've run these batteries, and it's been a long time since I've run these packs. So I just <clears throat> wanted to come out here today, compare the different 4S packs, to see if they were any different so far. These here and these here have been the exact same as far as performance-wise. Um, these are just a little shorter, but they're taller, you know. Let's go ahead and pop these in. They're a little bit less weight. All right, 120C. 5500 HCL HCs from SMC. Never ran these in this boat. Won't get long run time out of them, but we're going to give it a whirl anyways. Okay. Let's try not to hit the grass that's right in front of us. Hope and pray to God that these packs don't catch on fire. One of them is a slightly poofy. Receiver battery, 5.9 volts. It's a lot less weight. How much? 55, okay. I thought it was 65.
Okay, let's see what that was. Because that was, yeah, okay, 62 miles an hour. That's all those have. That was wide open. I don't want to... These are only 120C packs. I don't really want to hurt them. Just do some easy laps. That was full tilt. Still 62 miles an hour. Well, I think we found out everything we needed to find out. I think we also found out that this pond is still not ready. Still got too much grass in it. Let's go ahead and bring it in. Because that was actually a pretty good run. I wanted to get a really hard run and like see if at all would it would it kick out on an overload. I haven't had any amp cuts. No amp cuts all day long since I put them cat packs on there, which is actually a really good thing. I know I've had a flip and this, that, and the other thing. I've had grass, but I just did three three back-to-back -back runs. Like, this thing has got to be warm. And we're dealing with, like, 90-degree water here. And I don't know, man. Like, uh, f from an editing standpoint, okay, I have run three packs trying to beat the darkness. I've run three packs in about 40 minutes. Receiver, battery, 5.9 volt. Okay. That's good. This was the poofy battery. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's hot. Woo! Okay, yeah. She's coming out of there. I ain't using that one no more. Hundred and sixty one degrees. Good golly. Now if we compare that to the battery that wasn't swollen, hundred and thirty degrees. Hundred and 27, 128, 118, 125. Yeah, okay. So we're not going to use that battery anymore. Battery's going to get decommissioned. I'm going to shoot that thing. <laughs> Honestly, I could probably contact SMC. I ordered these batteries in October. They're supposed to have a year warranty. Now, this one was already warrantied because it gave up on the charger. That one right there, I'm not even going to, I don't even want, I don't even want it. I don't, I don't want a replacement for it. 125, 118, 101, 120, one, okay. Wow, 130, 127, 131. Come over here to this one. 135, 137. I think they're running they're running good again. All right, let's see the motor. Motors are like never ever hot. Yeah, 114. Motors are never hot. And it's ridiculous cuz the ESCs get the water straight off the rudder and then it goes through it and then it sends hot water to the motor. Uh, I think those TFL cooling jackets do an extremely extremely good job. So here's speed. I got 62 miles an hour out of those. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, uh, the struts, I'm very pleased with how they performed. Um, the rudder, I think I need to make some changes to that rudder. 
I don't know if I need to bring the rudder further back. I don't know if that'll help me or um, keep the rudder deeper in the water. I just don't know, you know. Um, I didn't really have an issue with it last time out, but it's hard to judge steering when you have grass in the pond and you got stuff that's, you know, hanging you up and stuff like that. So I can't really base my steering on that. And I think maybe that plastic thing here is slipping. So might have to formulate a game plan for the servo. But uh, other than that, I'm very pleased with how the capacitors did. I believe, in my opinion, they fixed the uh, the issue of it cutting off. Because three of them back to back, none of them cut off. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? Had somebody say that, that these ESCs didn't have enough capacity, you know. And uh, that was kind of my assumption as well. So the struts did well. Took a lick and kept on ticking. Based on what they look like, they are still pretty much straight. I haven't noticed any wiggle in them at all. They're as solid as solid can be. And uh, the boat just, you know, it performs well. It performs very well on 4S. Um, yeah, you can run it on 6S and probably go a lot faster, but I wasn't here today to try that. I was here today to compare some 4S packs, test the capacitors, and test my rear strut situation with only a quarter of a degree up on the struts um i just i gotta do something about the batteries man this thing needs a little bit more nose weight because it just likes to blow over either that or we need to put some sort of funnel some little air dam foil here so we can stop getting so much air shoved underneath that gully i believe that would help i was thinking about building some sort of air dam to, to foil the air here but that may be in a different episode but cool i'm gonna end it here thank y'all for watching see y'all on the next one peace